Have you ever questioned the very essence of your existence and wondered what it would be like to embark on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment? Welcome, fellow seekers, to the tale of Siddhartha, a young man born into a life of privilege and prosperity. Siddhartha, our protagonist, hails from an esteemed Brahmin family, the cream of the crop in the societal hierarchy of ancient India. Yet amidst the opulence and comfort, he finds himself enveloped in a shroud of dissatisfaction and restlessness. His spirit yearns for something more profound than the materialistic confines of his privileged existence. This yearning leads him to renounce his luxurious lifestyle, his societal status and the familiarities of his life. He steps out, leaving behind the known for the unknown, setting forth on a quest for deeper meaning, for enlightenment. This sets the stage for a journey filled with profound insights, trials and transformations. Our protagonist, Siddhartha, now steps into a life of asceticism, seeking wisdom through self-denial and meditation. Departing from the comforts of home, Siddhartha and his loyal friend Govinda join the Samanas, those who dwell in the forest, embracing a life of harsh austerity. Their days are filled with fasting, silence and deep contemplation as they strive to attain spiritual insight by renouncing worldly desires. Their quest for enlightenment takes an unexpected turn when they encounter none other than the Enlightened One, the Buddha himself. Yet, rather than finding solace in his teachings, Siddhartha is left feeling unsatisfied. He comes to a profound realization. Enlightenment is not a wisdom to be taught or learned, but a truth to be lived and experienced. It's a personal journey, unique to each individual, not a path that can be dictated by another. And so, Siddhartha decides to seek his own path to enlightenment. Leaving the spiritual realm, Siddhartha plunges into the material world, a stark contrast to his previous life. He immerses himself in the earthly pleasures, experiencing the intoxicating love of the beautiful courtesan, Kamala, and the seductive allure of material wealth in the bustling city. The world of sensory delights, once so alien to him, now becomes his reality. Yet as he navigates through the maze of worldly desires, a sense of disillusionment starts to creep in. The once enchanting city life, the glittering wealth and even the captivating Kamala all begin to lose their charm. A moment of despair strikes him, shattering his illusion and sparking an awakening within. Leaving behind the city and its false promises, Siddhartha embarks on a new journey. As fate would have it, he crosses paths with a humble ferryman, Vasudeva. In this unassuming man, Siddhartha finds a beacon of wisdom. Vasudeva, with his simple yet profound understanding of life, teaches Siddhartha to listen to the river. The river, with its ceaseless flow, becomes his guide and his teacher. It whispers to him the secrets of existence, teaching him about the ebb and flow of life, about change and constancy, about the unity in diversity. Through the river's wisdom, Siddhartha starts to grasp the profound truth of life. In the tranquil simplicity of the river, Siddhartha begins to understand the interconnectedness of all things. With the river as his guide, Siddhartha embarks on the final leg of his journey, the path to enlightenment. This is an exploration not of distance, but of depth. Like peeling back the layers of an onion, Siddhartha delves deeper into the core of existence. He begins to grasp the profound truth that life exists only in the present, not in the worries of yesterday or the hopes of tomorrow. He learns to listen, not just with his ears, but with his heart, his soul, his very essence. He starts to truly hear the river's song, a melody of unity, of oneness. It is a hymn that sings of all existence as a single entity, interwoven and interconnected. Siddhartha comes to understand that enlightenment is not a place one arrives at, but a state of being. It is not a destination at the end of a long journey, but a way of experiencing and accepting the world as it is. This realization is as profound as it is transformative. It changes not just how Siddhartha sees the world, but how he exists within it. From a young man of privilege to a humble ferryman, Siddhartha's journey is a testament to the power of personal transformation. It serves as a reminder that the path to enlightenment is not a well-trodden road, but a personal and transformative journey. Siddhartha's journey comes full circle, from a privileged youth to an enlightened ferryman, demonstrating that the path to enlightenment is a personal and transformative journey.